Welcome back, everybody, to my hackathon 2020. And straight into it, we're going to cross over to Rizal Awani bin Muhammad Nordin, whose presentation is all about Insan Community Care. How are you, Rizal? Fine, thank you. Okay, ready yes, to go? Sir. Yes. Yeah, Our judges are always ready, ever ready. So, your time begins now. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm here to present to you Insan Community Care. Community Wellbeing Management as a Service Platform. So let's dive into problem statement number one. After our analysis, the biggest problem is limitation of resources. The manpower to discipline ratio of 1 to 8,000 poses a problem where there's challenges in citing and validating documents, as well as engagement and monitoring process of the beneficiaries. So our solution is to increase the capacity by reducing manpower to discipline ratio. What we will do with our solution is to reduce 1 to 8,000 manpower to recipient to 1 to 200 uh, ratio of manpower to recipient. How we're going to do it is by zoning out a 5 kilometer radius, and uh, which is post code segregated. And we will identify a neighborhood manager uh, which will be able to handle up to 200 recipients. Oh my God. The neighborhood Why? manager will utilize our system to register and monitor the beneficiaries and then, uh, and, uh, throughout the year and will give monthly reporting. Second is we solve document citing and validation issues. What we will do is within that 5 kilometer zone, we will actually sign up retailers to become our fulfillment centers. And that will bring down again the ratio from 1 to 8,000 to 1 center to 64 recipients. So let's take a look at fulfillment centers. What we will do is we will empower uh, the fulfillment centers with the verification system that will be able to verify the beneficiaries with a thumping mechanism. We will also be able to utilize uh, fulfillment centers to disperse uh, goods uh, uh, and basically they can exchange their coupons with the sundry goods by patrol uh, or yeah, visit the clinic uh, or if they want yes, to dispense uh, this can uh, do it by the wallet. So this is the MVP, our dashboard. Uh, you can actually monitor the neighborhood and uh, you can look at the system and what programs are there, who are the beneficiaries, or where the beneficiaries are, what do they require. So this is to avoid the wastage that's happening. If you can look at Dataran Merdeka, there's overfeeding that leads to wastage. So this happens a lot uh, in terms of uh, charity programs. If you drill down the system further, you can have uh, neighborhood services, uh, and you can actually look at the prospects, beneficiaries, and the graduates, and you can even monitor cases that are relapsed, that means, uh, and, and help them further. So drilling down into individual profiles, the community manager will provide monthly reporting and will actually detail out exact uh, expenses, items that have been dispersed to them. So, Later on, we will build uh, four different dashboards for the stakeholders, uh, the donors, and the human partners. So this is a cloud system for all the new clients. In terms of infrastructure, we will be based on cloud, so we will actually uh, do an Amazon instance where we will have low deployment complexity. And uh, for us to populate throughout the nation, we will just have to identify uh, the Insan Community Manager at Damansar Damai, Shah Alam Gorba, and so on and so forth throughout the nation. So the key benefits is we have real-time stakeholder dashboard reporting, monitor impact progress of beneficiaries, monitor donation disbursement yeah. impact, avoid the education of resources, and meet ongoing demand of community uh, on the ground. So the impact, you will have more donor engagement, more transparency, you identify the community gap, you serve the answer community. So under the Sun Community Care Program, we are responsible for the welfare of the So, Okay, my turn to be muted. Okay, I don't know the mute problem right there. So, well, I was just saying, well done, Rizal. You did a good job with four minutes presentation. So, I'd like to invite Arif to ask the first question to Rizal. Hello, Rizal. Uh, very good presentation at the close. 
Uh, I have one question. What, what is exactly your uh, go-to deployment strategy for the first phase of uh, MVP? Okay, uh, basically you will have to get the dashboard reporting for the inside community manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to establish the, uh, the supply and demand uh, uh, MVP so that we were able to execute the uh, programs on the ground. Uh, so with that, we will be able to monitor the division and uh, monitor the beneficiaries as well as the community manager will be able to go on the ground and monitor uh, and input data. Mm. Alright, um, I, I, I think uh, I think this is a very good idea and great idea. Um, just one thing, uh, because you uh, mentioned that you're going to implement the thumbprint, isn't it? So, yeah. uh, is it, uh, I, I think best if you, uh, because previous presenter was like my ID, I am very stunned with the, the idea, it's very good idea, and I, I think instead of the uh, uh, what do you think for the other solution that can could be more easier instead of the plastic could be more like uh, just a QR code? Do you think that is uh, possible? Yes, of course it's possible uh, because it's uh, just uh, what we're doing with the MVP is to, to actually get on the ground as fast as we could. Then of course we will the second or third version we can look into QR codes or other other form of. Uh, so this is uh, this, uh, the strength of this system is actually it's community driven, uh, so that it will actually relieve the government of the uh, resources. Okay, I told you. Right. How long did the 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 right. front process in the last right. uh, to I mean, you that you evolve the development and the deployment? Okay, we will uh, complete. Very rough. Uh, we will complete this within three months, uh, the most uh, maximum. Uh, the MVP should be up there by the Yeah, so, uh, Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, Thank you, Thanks. Okay. Uh, and we have a little bit of time for a question from Darren. I can invite Darren for questions. Hi. Darren? Um, I have one question. <coughs> I saw one article a few years ago saying that Malaysia have the most voted civil service in, uh, in the world. So how how is it? Uh, your first follow statement was that uh, that we don't have enough resources. How is that? Uh, okay, that that problem statement of one to eight thousand is probably the the ABC that that start up is is okay. But uh, but the solution to this is uh, is mainly the consolidation or the the bringing together the private sector and the social activists on the ground. And the government uh, yeah. uh, to, to consolidate the, the whole effort. Oh uh, my god! To you made it! So that, that's the, the whole idea. So it's not it's dancing, but it's not. So the whole idea, when I say it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Islamic, it's, it's because everyone is in charge. So if I suddenly become rich tomorrow, I'm not the rich. Uh, I'm not the rich. 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 i am so because the tendency of people donating will be outside of the constitution because they don't know what's happening in the world. Can I say, oh, hear you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.